My process of painting is that I get inspiration. So it's a connection to myself, a connection to the universe. In the moment of starting to create, I get this, just this connection and inspiration of feeling what I'm supposed to paint. I'll hear the colors, I'll hear the types of brushes to use, I'll hear the brush strokes, and then I just kind of freeform. It's just um, kind of like a free process. Coming home is a really important show to me. It's actually about coming home to myself, to the authentic me. I grew up not having much of a voice. I was very subservient. Coming home was really finding myself, like finding my voice, being able to really just get to know the authentic me. So being very honest, being very loving and compassionate towards all my flaws, my imperfections, and just being me. I love vinyasa yoga, especially the type of yoga that makes you feel like you're dancing. Flow and energy are really key features. I like to use really big brush strokes. If you look at a lot of my paintings, there's a lot of flow and movement. And I feel like that's the movement that keeps us moving forward. When I left the business world, the first two things that I did were art and yoga. Those were two ways of healing that I basically embraced so that I could really start to unravel all the intricacies of my being, really get to know myself, find my authentic truth. The reason why yoga plays such an important role is because through movement, through intention, through complete focus on your breath, on your body, mind, and spirit, all parts of you become aligned. And it's through this movement that we can really come back and access the wisdom of our body, the wisdom of our heart. Part of the show, Coming Home, is about finding ways to accept ourselves so we can be our best selves. The Kindness series is really about accepting our flaws and our imperfections and really getting to know ourselves better. Because it's only when we meet our flaws, our imperfections, our real behavior with kindness and with love that we can really see it clearly. One of the paintings that I really like is called Behind My Mask. And Behind My Mask is a painting with a lot of dark blues in the background. In the middle ground, there are splashes of red and white, and in the foreground, there are flowers. The flowers look very pretty. They look very composed. It's the way we interact with the world. It's our mask. So we all have a mask, and the mask is, let me hide how I'm actually feeling, because the world should not see this. And we have this conception now in this day and age that we have to be very proper, we have to be very reserved about our feelings, but actually a lot of us have a lot of pain and suffering inside. And oftentimes we're told it's not safe to be ourselves truly. But I feel like when we do have the courage to speak up for our needs, to explore and delve into this pain, it actually helps us heal. The next series is called Courage. And the reason why it's called Courage is because once we know what our habits are and our limiting beliefs, we really need the courage to jump out of our comfort zone and to face our fears, to jump off the cliff and trust the unknown. Honesty is one of the paintings that helped me really be able to express my honest truth. I was actually always somebody who was very reserved. I would think or feel things, but never communicate my needs with people. I felt often that 
always a people pleaser. I was always somebody who sought validation and approval from authority figures. But Honesty was a painting that helped me really step out of that good girl vibe. That good girl me, that's really not me, and be able to communicate with people. So the next and last series is called Flourish. Imagine Flourish is like a butterfly in a cocoon. It's waiting to come out and shine. Finally breaks through the shell and it's finally a butterfly. And so Flourish is, it's the final ending. It's like after you have the courage to face your fears, now you can truly be yourself and you can be the person you were born to be, to shine. And we are born to be completely free, completely limitless. We're born to be amazing because just simply being is amazing. The last um, series, one of the key pieces is called Surrender. This piece I painted during the COVID shutdown in the US. I was in Mill Valley. I was in my garage and I couldn't go outside for about nine months. And I decided I had to just surrender to the process. One of the biggest things I had to learn is just being comfortable being. A lot of people say that they can see some darkness and some chaos in my work. And that's actually because in this transformation process, we do need to go through some darkness. And that's not something that people should be afraid of. It's actually something that's wonderful because in the midst of the darkness, although it seems like we lose our light and we lose sight of what's gonna happen, it's actually fertile ground for transformation growth, for our awakening. For my experience, it's often in the darkest moments, in the most difficult challenges, that I awaken to the truth. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to be able to really get to know ourselves and then find this motivation to start changing. By sharing and through my artwork, I hope to give people hope that even when you're in darkness, there will still be a light. You just have to keep trusting the process. I think we've gone through an era of a bit of a spiritual drought. So now when you see there's a lot of spirituality, um, a, lot of, a lot of things that bring us back to ourselves. Because I feel that we as humanity, as a whole society, we're kind of facing an era of a lack of connection. And so these practices help us reconnect back to ourselves and reconnect back to each other. And so I feel that, you know, with the technology really booming, one really important thing that I kind of want to stress is the importance of human connection. I think it's so important. And, um, you know, art, it really brings people together. What we've learned, the only time we, when we can really grow is to be directly in our society, be in our community, interact with people. So that's kind of the message of my artwork, that how do we find this connection back to ourselves so we can be really authentic? And when we do, when we're really connected back to ourselves, how do we find this connection with our world? How can we be our best selves in this world that we live in?